I knew what ominous hour this was in Nosgoth's history. For here was the event that had shaped my entire existence. I had cast my fate, refusing the sacrifice, damning the pillars, and founding my doomed empire upon their ruins. I would raise the Salafan priests to be my closest lieutenants, and would one day cast the strongest of them, my servant Raziel, into the abyss, dealing one last hand to play against fate. But in the end, had it made any difference? Had I misread the signs, as Mobius told me, in my arrogance, had I missed my cast at destiny? Very likely so. Just because Cain was able to see the future doesn't mean he had a full understanding of it. After all, Vraziel was able to see the same kind of future that he did, looking through the same portals and seeing the same visions, but that doesn't mean that he knew what he was looking at. It's easy to misunderstand things if you don't have context or anything like that. But, just because the Elder God could, or perhaps the Hilden could, doesn't mean that they understood it either. And add in the wrinkle of Raziel, him able to change the future, change the past, change fate. That, uh, that complicates the issue even more. Once again, no enemies. Hmm, this door is open now. dry. Good thing too, because Kane wouldn't be able to get through otherwise. Now what is it that Kane will see here? The Hilden are merely an inconvenient consequence. They will be dealt with in time. It is a small price to pay for Cain's death. You're a bit premature. Cain! Is there a crack in your omniscience after all, Mobius? First, your omniscience, and now your powers. You're slipping badly. This is not possible. The part of me that staff affected is no longer in its place. But you already knew that, didn't you? I always was considered heartless. And now, Mobius, it is time... To kill me? Again? Your only solution for every problem... Kill! This is not a debate. You see, this time, you have nothing that I want. <laughs> Oh, you think this will matter? I serve one who has power over life and death. Then go to him. I am his obedient, his devoted servant. Soon, all pain will fade, and my master will bring me life once more. Master, 
My apologies. A momentary oversight. Somehow Cain still lives and has unexpectedly dispatched me. Make use of your good servant and <laughs> go to your master then. I release you to the wheel. you served. Is this what you imagined when you worshipped it? No! And in that knowledge, go and feed it. I release you. <laughs> Your petty actions are irrelevant, Raziel. Mobius was a good servant. But he was of no further use. His long life had run its course. You see, even when you rebel, you are doing my will. Perhaps. But something has changed, hasn't it? You didn't foresee Cain's return. You have both traced your paths along the wheel. This is where the journey ends. You haven't the means to kill either one of us. Ah, but you can be stopped. And you will come to understand how oblivion can be a mercy. You and Cain will spend eternity buried here together, praying for the merciful release of a death that will never come. But I was armed with newfound knowledge, and it burned within me. Redeemer and destroyer. Mobius had never seen his master until the Soul Weaver purified his sight. Even the ancient vampires had no idea what it was they so righteously worshipped. You must unite what has been set asunder. All the conflict and strife throughout history, all the fear and hatred, served but one purpose to keep my master's wheel turning. All souls were prisoners, trapped in the pointless round of existence, leading distracted, blunted lives until death returned them, always in ignorance, to the wheel. The coin is still turning. But what hope had there been? One cannot fight the unseen. Only then will the scion of balance be armed for his true endeavor. Despair, Raziel. There is no escape. It was then I knew what I had to do. I alone could end this. Cain. Do you so enjoy death? Yes. No! Yes! This is how... No! Raziel! The Soul Reaver, pure of all corruption, this is what it is for. This is what I am for. The two become one, both Soul Reavers, together, and the sign of balance is healed, and I am not your enemy, not your destroyer. I am, as before, your right hand, your sword. No, Raziel, this can't be the way. And now you will see the true enemy. And it was then I saw. So I am revealed to you at last. What in hell? I am the origin of life, the devourer of death. I am the hub of the wheel, the purifying cycle to which all souls must be drawn. Had I condemned Raziel to this nightmare when I cast him into the abyss? You 
may ponder the futility of your ambitions as you spend a deathless eternity beneath a mountain of rubble. You and your soul reaver will go equally mad as the eons pass. The Citadel of the Apostates will become your living tomb. Your words are heartening. For you would not fear us unless we could truly do you harm. No! You are nothing! False God! This is the end. The final turn of your wheel. Boss battle time! It's time to take on the Elder God, finally, after all these, all these games and all that kind of shit. The Purified Reaver is powerful enough to take on the Elder God, to hurt it. Even though it seemed to have the Elder God and Mobius and all that seem to be un, uh, unfazed by the victory of the Hilden. It couldn't have been... It set into a motion kind of a bunch of events and stuff that we'll eventually see play out in Blood Omen 2. <laughs> Okay, I'm not going to be able to hurt the thing until it... for a little while, so I gotta just wait for it to stop long enough to be able to hit it. And then I can, uh, then I can attack the Elder God. Gotcha! Oh, what? <laughs> okay, maybe I was a little premature there. Seems as though, even though, even though the vampires worship the Elder God, even Mobius worshipped the Elder, Elder God, there was no, um... Sorry about that, I ran out of disk space for my recordings. But, uh, duking it out with the Elder God, yeah. Oh, it's got two arms. Something tells me not screwing around no more. Oh, he said the name of the game. Haha. <laughs> One down. Seems like we've finally done something that's beyond the Elder God's control. We couldn't foresee this happening, and it couldn't do anything to stop it. Ah, you son of a bitch. Your sacrifice has been made in vain, Brethia. Now. Your sacrifice has been made in vain, Show me your face. I will crush you, vampire. Haha. Almost out of health. Oh, I'm out of health. Get 
doing better this time. One more... One more good round of attacks on him and he'll be out. Okay, uh, that, 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 stay away from his attacks. Should avoid jumping too much while doing this too. Oh, what? No, no, don't... The strings of the puppets had become visible, and the hands of the Prime Mover exposed. Most ironic of all was the last gift that Raziel had given me. More powerful than the sword that now held his soul, more acute even than the vision his sacrifice had accorded me. The first bitter taste of that terrible illusion. There we go, that was the end of the Legacy of Cain. Uh, Defiance, this one was. Now this was unfortunately the final game that was ever released in this series. The game Nosgoth was released after that, but it's just a sort of, um, kind of multiplier-only game, not really a proper game in the series. A couple of games, actually quite a few as far as I understand, games had entered production, worked on for a little bit, then cancelled. Uh, there was one back intended to be released on like the PlayStation 2 that never ended up seeing release. And it was you played as Kane, traveling, uh, not traveling through time anymore, but sort of existing in this time, trying to take care of some new adventure that he had to do during the same time as the other Kane, the younger Kane, was going around on his initial journey. That game, I don't think, got very far into production and was cancelled. Then there was a game called Legacy of Kane. I think it was called Dead Sun. It was intended to be a launch title for the PlayStation 4, but it never ended up getting released. It was cancelled pretty far into its development. It looked fairly complete uh, with the gameplay snippets that I've seen, but, you know, that could mean anything, really. But it was supposed to take far advance into the future, where there was a very different... Um, harmonious existence between the vampires and of the world and the humans and vampires have evolved to being something completely different and you don't play as Cain or Raziel but some human vampire kind of hybrid creature that game ended up getting cancelled so we haven't really seen the end of this story now the Hilden are alive in the world and that is something that eventually gets the, the events of Legacy of Cain Defiance eventually lead up to the game Blood Omen 2 and I guess now that I think about it Blood Omen 2 should have been the last game in the series played because that the events of Defiance sort of set in the motion it and but like uh, Cain went and managed to hurt the Elder God and all that but they never managed to do anything about the Hilden. Now the Hilden will eventually go and invade Nosgoth. It's going to take a few hundred years for it to happen, but the younger Cain, his conquest of the world will be put on hold as he fights the Hilden and eventually defeats them and sends them back to the demon dimension. Then, then things will continue on as normal. Now the, the Elder God is the problem though. Because the Hilden will be dealt with. The Elder God will not be. 
Cain discovers that he has the ability to hurt the Elder God now. The Soul Revert, powered up by Raziel's soul and all that kind of stuff, gave him the ability to fight the Elder God and to hurt the Elder God. But then, fortunately, they're stuck in a kind of a stalemate. And there it is. That is the end of Legacy of King Defiance. Uh, hmm. If I ever think of anything more I want to say about this, this complex storyline, spanning multiple games by multiple developers, in fact, it, it's high, kind of hard to say when I've said enough of this, because it is a confusing thing. Soul Reaver and Soul Reaver 2 alone are enough to complicate the crap out of this. But there's a lot of sort of like time travel in this and changing of the past and at what point does what event take place in what time plan when we change the past do these certain events occur it's hard to keep track of all these things but we gotta do the best we can anyway that is the end of legacy of Cain defiance if you enjoyed this i have played a number of other games on this youtube channel other legacy of Cain games as well as a bunch of other games too Feel free to check those out. Thanks for watching and goodbye.